Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. All right, so today I kind of want to talk about the TBR exhaust that I have on the 2020 Lowrider S. We're now a little bit over two years with this exhaust, so I kind of want to talk about the long term of the exhaust, how's it held up, and what I still recommend it. Let's turn it on and give you guys a listen. tell you one thing this exhaust sounds amazing it still sounds amazing i feel like the more miles you put on these exhausts the better they sound the more they break in it's just Now, I've had the exhaust on this bike for a little bit over two years. I had installed it in April of 2020, and it is now June 1st of 2022. So two years on the bike. Um, I've been very happy with it, man. Uh, you, you hear a lot of things about TBRs, how, you know, you do lose horsepower with them because of how short the exhaust is, right? It's very short exhaust. Um, but uh, I'm I'm very very happy with it. Um, if I had to do it all over now, like if I was to uh, get another exhaust, I might get something else. Just because maybe I want like a stainless steel, uh, maybe try something different. I don't know, like a Fab 28 or even a Bassani at that. Um, not to say or take anything away from this, but my taste has just grown more towards like let's say a fab 28 or an hpi which is the pipe that i actually want for this bike now but i mean trying to get an hpi it's like a 12 month wait period right now so yeah i'm good but like, yeah my, my number one choice right now for this exact bike right here right now would be an hpi then a fab 28 then a tbr or basani that's like slash slash right in the middle but this exhaust sounds great um so two years down the pipeline now i have not had any issues with it whatsoever nothing at all um i will say that sometimes just once in a blue here and there you do get some uh d-cell pops um but that might also be from the the tuner i have a screaming eagle tuner on here um it's not all the time it's just once in a blue but it does happen um, there is some discoloration, which we'll pull over right now and uh, I'll show you guys. So as you can see right here, where there's no heat shields on top, um, it, it has gotten a bit brownish, reddish throughout the time. And as the time goes on, it's going to get worse. It's going to even, yeah, it's going to it's gonna turn uglier. Uh, some people like that. Some people don't. I'm like a little eh about it um we got some little nicks here and there so maybe some flying rocks or so um so we got the heat shields right here as you can see so we got that red brown color right there underneath the heat shields and right here you can see that color again but as we go to the back of the exhaust it, it it's it's still black um i will say that the black has faded a tad bit because it was a lot darker than this um, I haven't had any issues with my carbon fiber tip in the back. I know for a while when this exhaust was out and a lot of people were putting this exhaust on, um, the back cap was coming off. 
Um, and there, there were some issues with the welding, with the nuts in there and everything. So that was a little issue for a while. I haven't had that issue whatsoever. Um, if you look closely here, the heat has kind of darkened this area up right here with the carbon fibers at. But overall, it's, uh, it, lo it looks nice still. It's a nice looking exhaust. Very nice design. Um, I, I, I like it. I, li I like TBR. Would I do it again? No. Like I said, my number one choice right now, if I had this bike brand new again, or if I had to switch it out, um, would be an HPI. Um, and it wouldn't be black. It, it, I, I do a stainless steel color. Um, but yeah, overall, I like the exhaust. I haven't had any issues with it. It looks badass though, man. It really does. I mean, this. Now, I have put 7,000 miles on this exhaust. 7,000. So, pretty good braking period. Long, long past that braking period. And throughout this time, like I was mentioning before, the more you use it, the more miles you put on it, the more of a braking period, the nicer it just sounds. It's a great looking exhaust. <laughs> you hear that? Do you hear that? The longer the bike stays on, the more it heats up, the nicer it sounds. This bike right here, man. What you guys think so far? If you have this bike, what exhaust do you have on your bike right now? Or if you are getting this bike or looking into it, what exhaust are you looking at? Um, or if you already do have an exhaust you want to switch out, let me know exactly what you're looking at as well want to hear your feedback on everything this is my 2020 low rider s right here that's gonna be it guys today was a short little quick video just to give you a quick little update gonna be doing a little more follow-up videos with the bike uh, and then um i got some uh some bad news on the bike as well that's coming soon bad not good uh, i don't know it's just tune in for that video but um this bike man this bike like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.